cheese. Yo, boys, new day. Today, we're gonna do something about this. This is just, uh, this is just nasty. This is just nasty. Let's get the valve cover off here. So I'm gonna get some paper towels, try to wipe this off. Just wipe all this sludge and stuff off of here as much as I can. And uh, yeah, we'll try to clean this up. There's also plenty of sludge inside of this area in here and all around. So we'll try to wipe some of this off. There's some on the, on the valve cover too. The valve cover we can actually wash with like pressure washer and stuff. Here's my Vanos, and one thing that's that is interesting about it, I turn it over this way, and it kind of let the thing kind of fall back down. The seals are so bad that uh, I don't know if we're gonna do it now, but this one was like I could see it falling back down. I was just watching it fall down by itself, just by gravity. That's how bad the seals are in this thing. So we gotta take all these bolts out. Then we can take those out. Start changing seals on them, and then change gaskets, and uh, yeah, it's pretty simple, really. All right, so it's a little while later. I've changed all the seals, changed all the gaskets, and everything. Um, tried to clean up the parts. Uh, decently, uh, I've, I have them set in right now uh, for uh, like uh, resizing the seals. Speaking, of, oh my god, I'm sorry, I'm yawning right now. Speaking of seals, I really screwed up. Um, I have extra O-rings right here. Well, that's because the first one I did, actually, it's the one I filmed. Um. I didn't change the o-ring. I went through one layer. I thought, oh, that's it. I didn't realize that there were two layers and two things to cut. And I put them both on, and what was ironic was I put them on, and I put the second one, the top, the smaller one on, and I said, I said, I'm going to do this first and then check and see what the o-rings were for. And not realizing that I could have stopped myself and not done that and put the new o-rings in. So one of these doesn't have new o-rings, just the outer one. Uh, I think it's this one. And, uh, yeah, that sucks. That was stupid of me. It was really stupid. But, I'm, I, I decided, you know what, I'm just going to come back and do this again. It's not that hard. I'll just come back and do it again. But, I'm really pissed that I did that. I feel like an idiot. Alright, guys, it's a different day in time. Uh, Vanos is back in. Vanos is all put back together, so that's good. Now I'm going to work on this valve cover gasket, try to clean this up. And uh, get this old gasket out of here, and you know, this, uh, oh, there's a lot of sludge in this. I'm slugging the engine too. We're gonna get rid of all this sludge, and we'll be good. So, I managed to take the old gasket out of here. Um, I'm gonna take this to work with me. There, there's a power washer there, so I will be able to power wash this clean, get all the sludge and gunk out of it. Uh, here's the old gasket, nice and cracked and brittle. These things are, are rock, rock solid and uh it's supposed to be soft flash or soft rubber ro all rock solid cracked apart nothing came apart in one piece so i had to break that just to get it out so i'm gonna wash this uh over here like i said the vanos is back in wash this plastic covered up a little bit 
Alright guys, so I'm back again. Uh, so, I made a mistake. As per usual, I made a mistake. So this valve cover gasket that I purchased, well, it doesn't fit up over here in this area. Because uh, this valve cover gasket is meant for an M52. Just, just that. This is an M52 TU double vano. Got two of those. So this don't fit. Yo, yo, what is up guys? Back again working on the E39. So today, right now, what I'm working on is the brake line. So I've been making a ton of progress. You guys don't even know I was stagnant for a while because I didn't have this, I didn't have this crow foot socket to get the brake lines off, but I got it now and I got the brake lines off. So this is one that I had to remove, was this brake line, is the rear uh, driver. So it's now down there, here's a part of it right here. This is like the top portion. I'm, so I'm gonna reuse this part, and it's gonna reconnect down there. So what I'm pulling out, pulling out the rest of it. So I had to take out the fender liner in here. Right here is where the bottom of the brake line is. It's like ready to come out like right now. Oh, yeah, just like that. So that's just like dangling there, nice and gentle. We're gonna just let it sit up here because the rest of it is all dangling underneath the car. As you can see. So the only place it's caught up now is right over here when we get to the back. This area. It appears maybe they put the gas tank in after or something. Uh, but yeah, this does not want to come out of here. And yeah, I'm looking at it. There's the rest of it. Y'all can see it goes through here like this. There's just there's just no way. So what's nice is this new brake line I have is going to be really flexible. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start to spool back here, fish it through this hole, and then copy it the rest of the way going forward. What it looks like from here on back, I'm going to have to cut it and then this will come out like instantly, like right away. Really hope this works. <laughs> really hope this works. This is like the one thing that's stopping me from putting this subframe in and just sending everything home and getting the car on the ground and driving it. So I'm gonna make a cut right here on the brake line, take the rest of this out and I'll let you guys know when I'm getting ready to put the new one in. All right, guys, I got the brake line out of the car. You can see it right here. It's all uh, bendy, but uh, so it goes all over here. All these bends, all these weird things. All the way back, straight section of the car. You can make a hard left and right and the right and the left. Then it hits this section, which I had to cut off right there. This was like going like this way. And then it broke off right there because this was the rustiest uh, repair was on the car. You guys can see. So this would have gone any day. I mean, look at this thing. This would have gone any day. Dude. Someone didn't put any paint protective stuff on this when they did this. But so then it's got to go here and snake all the way around. So what I'm gonna do to make this. A little bit easier on myself. I've already removed one of these air compressors. They sit underneath here. There's one more right there. As you can see, the brake lines snake right through in between them, so it'll be a lot easier to do these brake lines if those things are just not there. <laughs> I'm actually progressing, getting things done. Hopefully, I can finish this today. It's like 3 o'clock, 3.30, 3.15 or something. I'm gonna keep on working at this all day. I'm gonna reuse this fitting. Uh, if I can just copy this flare with the new line, remove it. Yo guys, quick update to start the morning as to what I was working on last night. So I kept on working, um, after my last update, what was my last, I think my last update was I finished the brake line. 
I tested the brake line, I plugged in the brake line, also I broke this back off again. I hit him, never cut this off! I'm so stupid for cutting this off. But, I broke that back off again, so I'll have to re-weld that later, but I bolted the brake line in, gave it some pressure, and there's no leak here. The area where I thought I might have leaked earlier, or where I thought I might have cracked it, I didn't crack it. And uh, everything over there, no leaks, so. <laughs> It appears the brake line is complete. The brake line really, truly is finished. I was working on the parking brake line where I'm at right now, so I ran the, the wire, or I ran the, the, the brake line um, down and under here. So here's the end of it right here. Uh, I gotta put this inside here, but I gotta get this guy out. So I have to go to the store real quick. I have to get some punches. I got a punch set. So I can punch this Johnny out of here. Yo, boys. I come to you with some troubling news. Hopefully, hope my battery lasts long enough. I'll make this quick. As you can see, the subframe is back down again because it, it, it was up. You guys didn't see it, but it was up. But uh, we have another break line. Maybe. On this side, the other rear, right back, right there. You guys can see it's all wet. Leaking brake fluid. And yo, guys, that last clip got cut off. It's the next day. I was so frustrated. I didn't even go upstairs to go get a new battery and refilm the clip. I just let the clip go. So, like I mentioned, the subframe was down. Uh, what well, was up? Now it's back down because I had noticed a second brake line leak. So if we get over here, so I noticed that the second brake line leak dropped the subframe back down again. Got the brake line out, put a new, I actually got, I actually managed to flare the old line since it was pretty good. Flared some remaining line. Now, I am, the only reason why this isn't connected, I actually got this to work and not leak anymore. But I cross-threaded this nut into the bottom of this union fitting. So thankfully I have a new nut and a, and a new union fitting. So I have to cut that off um, and then uh, redo that flare. And then I can put it back in, get it as tight as humanly possible. And that should be okay. So once that is in, once that's together, then that brake line is all set. I'm gonna spray some more undercoating. Oh gosh, I'm really tired. Spray some more undercoating. Make sure everything's rust proof. Um, I'm gonna come over here to the front, put all this back together. Put that windshield washer bottle. Uh, connect the hose back. So, it's not much left to do, in theory. Still a lot left to do, but I'm not gonna be able to get it all done today if I uh, try really hard. Sorry, I'm not really jubilant or joyful or smiling or anything right now. I'm just very exhausted. It's also snowing like crazy outside. Y'all can see it's like a winter storm. Like my car's covered up, S4 is covered up. It's like crazy out there, but I think we might get like 22 inches or something. Some, some wild, so I might be in here for a few days. But I'm like balancing like this in school right now and like trying to finish this thing Get it on the ground. <sighs> I'm so exhausted, but we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. So. All right, let's get to work. 